Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to do another video featuring the new Vivis body quills. A really cool plasticized um, or mylar type thread that gives you some translucence and creates a really cool looking body on nymphs, wet flies, and dries. We've got an emerger barbless syndicate hook here with the tungsten bead. You don't have to tie this with the tungsten bead if you don't want, but that's a popular way to tie most of our nymphs anyway and it, these days without having to use as much weight on your line you and get away with a lot in the form of tungsten. I've got some tan thread. I'm going to go to the back of the hook here and I tie in some Coctillion tails. Get those secured at the couple wraps and I'm going to shorten those up just a little bit by getting a good hold on them and pulling them in. I'm going to take my thread up to the front. I'm using a lighter colored thread here so I can allow the translucency of the, uh, the body quills to be at their peak. Now I'm going to do a two-tone body, kind of add a hot spot to the, the rear of the fly. And I'm going to do that by going back towards the tail and I'm going to tie in one strand of red body quill. Wrap right back all the way to the tail. Come forward. I'm going to have this be about a third of my body. So now I'll go ahead and I'll wrap that over the Over the thread, advance it forward up to where my thread's waiting. Now I'll go ahead and tie that off. You can trim that off, but I'm just going to actually keep advancing my thread forward up to the bead. I'll trim off the red and save that for my next fly. Now by using that brighter red color, you could also use an orange or a pink. You're going to put a little hot spot at the tail of the fly. Next I'll take olive body quills. I'm going to take two strands this time. You can even mix and match. Do two colors to give it a little variation or variegation I guess you could call it. A yellow and an olive or a brown and an olive. I'm just going to do straight olive. I'll tie those in behind the bead. Wrap back to where that red tag starts. And I'll go through and just make sure I've got kind of a nice tapered underbody with my thread here for the rest of the fly. Now we'll go ahead and Do the rest of the body with the olive body quills. Make sure I go far enough back to not leave any gaps and thread showing. Advance those forward. And we are going to tie that off. And then to finish and keep the fly nice and slender, I'm just going to put in a fine dubbing for my, my thorax. I'm just going to use a dark black fine natural dubbing from Nature Spirit. You don't need a ton, just the, enough to create a little thorax and keep the, the bead in place. Once that's done, Throw in some half hitches or a whip finish. Trim off your excess. And there you have a quill body nymph that's two-tone. There's lots of different colors of this quill body. So you can mix and match and come up with a, 